The $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus bill, this is from Business Insider. Business Outsider, not as popular of a zine. Business Insider, they're like, we want to hear from the insider. The outsider, that's just a bunch of people going like, business is lame. I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about art. Business Outsider. I, I actually, I read articles from both, really. I think both have value. I am an avid reader of both Business Insider and Business Outsider. But right now, we're Business Insider. The $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus bill will probably not be enough to protect workers and save the economy, Schumer says. What an inspiring dude. Right off, look at that guy. He, he's like, he's like, maybe someone else will do more. <laughs> he's just pointing. What's he pointing at? What's he, he's probably pointing at Wall Street. We got you. Don't worry, boo. This prob- Main Street, this isn't enough for you. Here you go, American people. This probably won't do much for you. Uh, Wall Street, gotcha. Banks, you're covered. People, <laughs> probably not. It's probably not going to be enough. Man, doesn't that just inspire? What a leader. Yeah, this probably isn't going to be. This isn't going to help you, really. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, we, we have trillions. Uh, we've already given trillions to the banks. Uh, we could just, you know, make the currency whenever we feel like it. But, uh, yeah, we're just not going to do anything for you. Why? Because we don't want to, really. I mean, yeah, there, there's no reason why we can't do more for you, but we're not going to. Um, screw you. <laughs> that should just, the, the bill should just be called screw you. All right, so here's what's in it. The United States Senate and the White House agreed Wednesday on a $2 trillion stimulus bill to help bolster American workers and the economy riven by the coronavirus pandemic. Probably not going to be enough, though. <laughs> Probably this isn't going to. And it isn't, by the way. We're going to read into what exactly is in it. It's the largest emergency stimulus package in modern American history. All right. So here's what we get. American individuals making less than 75 grand will be given a one time payment of twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> And billions more would be given to small businesses. Yeah, they get loans, by the way. Local and state governments and hospitals. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said Congress will probably need to provide more aid to Americans in the economy as the crisis continues. After a strained week of negotiations, the Senate agreed on a $2 trillion stimulus bill to help American workers and the economy. The bipartisan effort, which has White House approval, is the largest in American history. Not enough, though. Here's what Chuck Schumer had to say. We should be willing, able to come back, blah, 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 and do more if we need it. Okay. That's nice, Chuck. So if the if the bill passes both houses of Congress and is approved by uh, Donald Trump, it would give direct payments to American workers, which could begin in April. We, we don't know exactly when they're going to begin. Some people are speculating May, according to this article, could begin in April. You might get, you're going to get 1200 bucks at some point. Do you have any more questions? Shut up. We don't care. You're going to get a one-time payment of 1200 bucks. No rent freeze, no mortgage freeze, no student debt relief, nothing like that. Here's 1200 bucks. Shut up. <laughs> All right. So anyway, less is going to go to people that make more than $75,000. Uh, unemployment. Now, here's something that is happening that has never happened in my lifetime as far as I know. Uh, if this has ever happened in my lifetime... I was not cognizant of it, meaning I was, you know, too young to be paying attention to anything like this. Um, but anyway, they're saying unemployment insurance uh, will also be temporarily expanded, increasing such payments by six hundred dollars a week for the next four months. And here's the interesting part: covering gig economy workers, freelancers, and furloughed employees. That means self-employed people, which includes yours truly. Um, so for the first time in my adult life, since I've had a day job, so it's been over a decade since I've had a traditional day job. What's up, Lucy? Uh, someone like me will be able to apply for uninsur- uh, employment on insurance, employment on insurance. <laughs> I just said that, uh, employment on insurance. You can quote me on that one. <laughs> Unemployment insurance. You guys get 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 a piece of that on uh, 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 employment on insurance. Employment on insurance is my new band that I'm starting. I'm starting that band. It's gonna be so that's an interesting component, at least. Now I'm sure it's it's gonna be, you know, I, I'm sure they're gonna make you jump through a ton of hoops to get a dime. And uh who knows exactly what's up, Lucy? Come here, here. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, who knows the specifics here, but 
that's interesting that, you know, freelancers, gig economy workers, which by the way, that's a lot of people in the uh, United States economy. They'll also be able to apply for, uh, for unemployment benefits. So that's something different. By the way, you know who fought for that part? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders fought for that, uh, for that addition. Uh, the bill allocates a total of $250 billion to individuals and families. Some $300 billion will go to small businesses. $150 for local and state governments. Hospitals will get $130 billion. Um, Congress may bolster the stimulus with more funds. All right. So that's what we know so far. You're going to get $1,200. Uh, if you're under $75,000 a year, you're going to get $1,200. One-time payment, not a monthly thing. Uh, unemployment has been expanded a little bit to include freelancers, which that's cool. But as far as how easy that will be to get or what you'll actually qualify for, we don't know that yet. We have no idea yet. I mean, first they have to unroll it. They have to say, okay, additional people can get it. And then we'll see the details. Um, so let's go over, let's go over to the Twitter. I retweeted this. I wanted to show it to you guys. Here's what uh, Fiorella Isabella from the Convo Couch had to say. Where's mine? Here we go. Corona stimulus bill summarized. $1,200 one-time payment for most Americans making under 75K. More loans, less direct aid. Small businesses get zero aids, just loans under $350 billion plan, and only if their payroll is steady during pandemic. Corporations get the most with 500 billion. And by, by the way, something else, no rent freeze, no mortgage freeze, no utility freeze, no moratorium on anything like that. That's just business as usual. But here, they're going to give you 1200 bucks. Uh, let's go ahead and search the hashtag, shall we? Stimulus bill. And by the way, I think they're still uh, bloviating about this. Uh, I think they're still going. So here's a here's a Thai ballerina echoes this no rent freeze. No student debt forgiveness, one-time payment, twelve hundred per person. Now they're saying no money until May. According to that article, it might happen in April. <laughs> and Dr. Victoria Dooley here says a one a twelve hundred dollar one-time payment isn't enough. Pass it on, guys. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do with your one-time payment? I mean, I, I I'm thinking, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I'm thinking I might buy a mansion. Um, I'm thinking I might, uh, I might just give it all to the Joe Biden campaign. Really? <laughs> Here's 1200 bucks. Shut up. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know?